And Welcome back to Google I.O. Extended Nairobi by GDG Nairobi. Uh, here we have May Ndege. Uh, she can introduce herself further. I'm Mary Zoki Dege, currently working with Sevland Company. Um, I work as a social media, specifically in mobile applications. I do Java, I'm Zero Adrin, and now currently I'm so much in this world. So uh, in, your, in, your, in your speech, um, you spoke a lot about, about Flutter. Yeah. So maybe you can tell us a few things about Flutter and how exactly it is designed. Yeah. Uh, so Flutter is just an SDK, just like you can teach Android to be an SDK. So yeah. Yeah, the difference between it and the, the normal native application is that for Flutter, you can create one app, I mean one, one code that can run in two applications, that is the Android and the iOS, and also the web, when it is well configured. Yeah, that's the key uh, or the major difference between that, the Android, or the native, and uh, the Flutter two hybrid applications. So in terms of uh, cross-platform applications, as you say, yeah. um, how exactly do you plan on implementing them? And do you have any projects you have done so far? Yeah, I have one. Okay, I have some projects that I've done, I've done on Flutter, though they were all for testing. I just wanted to see what can Flutter do. Okay, what can Flutter do that my native app cannot do? And uh, I tell you to be just a Yeah, so. Can I answer your question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Uh, so maybe you can, you, can, you can give us a few insights of um, your, the times you've worked with Flutter and um, its challenges. Um, please tell us. Okay, for the times that I've worked with Flutter, it's just an amazing one. Don't think that you, you think that you cannot do it in, in native. Then you're like, oh, but this new thing that just work amazing for you. For instance, if you're trying to configure a uh, Flutter with Firebase, it's just so easy that that one is for than when you're doing with native that is for Android and Java or you're using the thing. It's just because for that part it's so complicated somehow. But for Flat it's just so direct. Then when it comes to UI, I think every user there outside you create applications for users, right? So the things that we look at is the user experience and the uh, uh, most in most cases just user experience. How does the user interface look like? So in Flutter with the use of uh, widgets and corporate that gives it that very high capability to make it uh, to um, for a for a developer to create super working app which has got beautiful UIs that is going to make the user there outside be like oh this is what I've been looking for and like in native whereby writing those as a main code is not a joke in fact it's animations just making sure that those animations they are well they are well um, uh, in, in, in implemented in native so hard and like in fact I just define what type of animation do I want. The, uh, the animations are right there. They are, they are right there. Drag and drop. No, just write one line of code. This is what I want. When you click on dot something, just give you some suggestions. And then when it comes to as a developer part of it, so easy for me because um, I don't have to write my XML code separately and then my logic. Where my XML, my, where my design is, that is where my logic is. And like in, in, in Android, then a disadvantage is that it doesn't have a preview of what you're doing. And like in Native whereby you've got a preview of your XML, of your design. How does it, how does it look like before I run it on the actual device? So don't you think like it's a, it will be a bit challenging considering that uh, it runs, you, you run it as a whole block instead of um, running it um, iteratively? Oh, no, it is not a challenge. There is that one tool which has overcome that, which is uh, Hot Reload. does that. Just click on Hot Reload and then it's going to apply your features very fast. And like in Android, where you've got instant run, but it's so tedious. Sometimes when you run that instant run, it doesn't apply your very processes. So you might be debugging something that you've already done, but now because you're used to instant run, it confuses you. So that's that's really great. Yeah. Um, like, tell us, tell us. Um, 
with the young people you've worked with so far? Yeah. Uh, what's your advice to them? Um, using black uh, one is that they should learn to take the advantage of new technology. That's one thing. Because, uh, for instance, if in a company you want to employ somebody who has done a, this, this guy who has done flat and somebody has done a hundred part of it, you go for flat because it can, it can reduce your costs and uh, in terms of money, like, like a salary that you're going to give that person. Because this guy is going to create one app, I mean, one code that is going to run on three, or on three different platforms. And like now, when you employ this guy, this other guy, who is doing just one thing, just Android, and yet there is the high demand of help, there is high demand of virus. So there is that advantage that they should take that advantage of technology tech, let them keep trying the new things. Eh? And because I know the future of Flutter is just so bright, it can just die with new support, uh, with high, with great support from Google. I think it is not going to die soon. Because that, it is that, that has been there. It's an object to take it from me. So there's no way for that to die. I don't think it is going to die. Okay, uh, so you spoke about uh, some of the apps done by Flutter, yeah. with Flutter, yeah. uh, can run on both iOS and Android. Yeah. So uh, as we all know, Instagram is one of one of the platform applications. Yeah. Um, sometimes it has, it hangs, and sometimes uh, it just feels good. By it just feels good because it has the same example yeah. with different with different specs mm -hmm. or different uh, level of, of, of the phone. So how do you advise anyone who wants to who wants to drop better apps? Um, one, I'll tell them uh, to check on performance. Before you try something new, check on performance. There's some key things, it's key factors that we always look from an app before you start even creating it. One is performance and memory and uh, and security issues, you have to look at that. So for someone who's starting with Flutter, just uh, make sure okay, it's, it's rare for a Flutter to keep on, uh, keep on breaking up because before it breaks up, you already know. Uh, we have this this tool called Flutter Doctor that gives you gives you the report of what is happening. So you know that your app is breaking up. Okay, so for someone who's starting with Flutter, just give it a try. Not just a try. We already have some applications we have built, like uh, Google Ads, Alibaba. Alibaba have used it. So those are big companies that you can use. So something you can start, get started. Okay, that, that's really nice. I've never known about the Santa Doctor. Uh, but that's a feature I should check on. Um, anyway, um, we have. You've been the, one of the few ladies speakers, so um, give advice to our girls and women in tech. Yeah. There is one great advantage for women's gender. One, they are only in a ratio, okay, among five men, you only always find only one you go to. So what does it mean? If you know tech, you're just, you're just a hot kick. In a market, like because there are few ladies in the market, that means you can take advantage of that. If you go in any programming companies and in tech companies, you'll find there are only very few ladies who do like who write code. So you, if you start Flutter, it is so easy for you because for Flutter, if you know how to write CSS, that becomes so easy for you to get started with Flutter. So I would just tell them to take advantage of the emerging uh, tech. And especially when it comes to writing code, it's just so it's just like a walk in the park. What is all required is your interest. Just that you don't have to know how to write. Just your interest and your willingness to know. Just that. So, guys, you've heard from the lady herself. Um, it's just about uh, the site you have and your interest. So, thank you so much, Mary. Uh, we'll have you another time. I'm uh, sure you've had a, a great interview. Uh, welcome. Thank you so much. Hello, Katarina.